Welcome back to Mornings with Dave King and Matt Martin. We want to get right to the phones. We've got the car pro, Jerry Reynolds, on the line. Uh, Jerry, how are you doing this morning? Hey, doing good, fellas. How about y'all? You're doing good. Uh, great to have you here. Uh, how are things in Dallas? Wet. Yeah, well, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, we needed it. We really did. It was uh, unfortunate timing for me because I had a new roof going on starting oh, Monday morning. Oh, no. yeah. Uh, that, really? That complicated have, they're, they're putting a, a roof on this starting this morning? No, Monday morning. Oh, well, so, my, my new roof starts this morning at 830. <laughs> how about that? Well, I hope it stays a little hey, Jerry, drier wa- for you than it uh, did for me. Yeah, I've been waiting all week to ask you a question. Sure. I have a, I have a 2005 VW Passat with 85,000 miles on it, but my wife is wanting a new car. But she want, I'm already on an SUV, as you know. We've talked about it. But she's yeah. wanting a, an SUV because it sits up higher. Okay, for a second car, what would be – I mean, I don't want to spend a whole lot of money because it's a second car and it's going to be driven very few miles. Your suggestion. You think it never used, Dave? Well, a probably used would be, again, it's a second car and it's going to replace this, this ancient Passat, by golly, which has, I might say – uh, provided uh, an incredible amount of uh, trouble-free uh, driving. Yeah. Well, there's there's just one of the problems that I struggle with is in the compact SUV segment, every automaker has a good entry. But with that said, you could never go wrong with a Toyota RAV4, a Honda CRV, uh, Ford Escape has got a great history, Chevy Equinox, uh, Subaru Crosstrek, Nissan Rogue, I could go on, uh, but any of those would be good. And if I were you, you know, you might consider doing a lease on something like a RAV4 uh, for a couple hundred bucks a month and having a, a vehicle under warranty for the next three years and free maintenance. Huh. Well, yeah, that's a thought I hadn't, I hadn't really uh, – Given a thought about a lease, I haven't had a lease car in years. Especially since you're yeah. not going to be driving it much. That's it. That's the thing. With low uh, low mileage leases, the payments get so cheap, it's just hard to resist them. Uh, and I don't know if you're going to finance the used one, but a lease on a new one's probably going to be less money a month than uh, trying to buy a used one and finance it for three or four years. Now the difference, of course, is you'll eventually own that used one and you will do have to do something else with this one in three years but it is the cheapest way to drive i'll tell you that yeah Yeah. well good good information all right well Well, happy happy to help sir uh, jerry why don't you tell us about your car of the week chevy traverse 2021 model this is the largest suv chevy makes before you get into Tahoe and Suburban, the, the really big ones. But this, this vehicle is very, very nice. Uh, I had one back in 2018 and haven't had one since then. So this one is, uh, they've made some nice upgrades to the electronics in the car. The seating is fantastic. It's got captain's chairs on the second row and then the third row. But what I, what I appreciate about this SUV and in this size, guys, is the fact that it's got a roomy third row seat, yet it's got good cargo area behind the third row seat. Many times you get into this size of SUV and the third row seat sets right against the rear tailgate. This one's got a lot of room. I don't know how they configured this thing to to, to be roomy for all three rows of seating. Usually one row has to sacrifice. This, they did a great job with this, but it drives good. It's got a 3.6 liter V6, 20 miles to the gallon in town, about 25 out on the highway, 54,000 on the MSRP, but this is the top of the line. This is the high country. So it's got beautiful leather seats, a dual pane, panoramic moonroof. Uh, the only thing I see that it doesn't have is a DVD player for the kids in the back, but You know, most people don't want that anyway, unless they've got several smaller children. But just a really good, solid riding and driving SUV. I've I've really enjoyed it this week so far. Of course, giving up the 797-horse 
Dodge Charger was a little bit of a problem for me Monday, but <clears throat> I got over it, and there I am. <laughs> uh, so what? What's the price tag on that? Fifty-four grand on the window sticker. Yeah. Uh, so there's usually pretty hefty incentives on all these SUVs because the market is so competitive. So I would say this could be about south of fifty thousand by quite a bit, probably forty-eight. And th- that's 49. for the top of the line. Yeah, everything so, in the world. So if if, on it. if you're going one that's more of a moderate, you may even get closer to the forty range. Well, you could definitely get in the forties if you if you got there's. That's one good thing about the Traverse. There's six different trim levels. So there's you start at the bottom and then you go all the way up here to the high country. But there's a lot of a lot of difference between price. I mean, the you can get into the mid thirties with this thing if you don't load it up. But that's the problem with cars today. You see that low base price, and then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, the actual price, once you get the things you want on it, is $10,000 more. Yeah. And that, that is something I've, I've been really watching the last few years, and the automakers, have uh, they, they, they've, they've gotten smart about that. Yeah. Um, so now this time of year, um, you know, with Dave's question, I know that December is the best time to buy a new car. Um, what in January, February, what, when's the, the next time that's a great time to buy a car? New cars, uh, typically around Memorial Day is a very aggressive time for incentives. But if you're looking for a pickup, March has been the big month uh, over the past decade or so because for shipping right? and now Ram does truck month. Yeah. I mean, you, you think it's truck month every month, but uh, typically for pickups, March is really good. And for used cars, uh, Dave, just so you know, January and February, usually the prices are the lowest. And that is because there's a glut of used cars after the big December sales where all the trade-ins come in. That's not going to be any different this year. The used car market is down right now. So, oh. Well, so this is a good time to buy a used vehicle. It is. It is. It's a very good thing. Anytime this month or even into February, and the weather has something to do with it, too. That, that affects auction prices. Yeah. Uh, bad weather, cold weather, not so many people are active at the auction. Uh, and that lowers prices, too. So anytime between now and before spring starts, used car prices will stay low. So what do you have going on over at carprousa.com? Got an article that everybody needs to read. And it's called Junkyard Cars and Identity Theft Dangers. Uh, I've been working on this one for a while. It, it, it's all about people who get rid of a car and all the information, personal information that they leave in it. Like in the glove and box? Like, like papers in the glove box. But what if you don't wipe the navigation system clean Every, every navigation system's got a home button, right? So you push home for the next person that has that car, and they know exactly where you live. And then guess what? You probably programmed your garage door opener into it. Mm-hmm. And all you got to do is hit a button on the, on the sun visor. Yeah, that's true. Now the thief knows where you live, and uh, there's all sorts of information that can be obtained from a car. And that's what this article is about. It's a must-read for everybody, especially people who trade a car, whose car gets stolen, who who donates a car, for instance. Uh, you, you've got to wipe all the information clean and go through the glove box and make sure none of the papers in there have your name and address on it. So how do you – I don't know how I, – I think that there's instructions in the manual, but uh, how, is there a way to wipe the garage door settings? Yeah, there is, okay. and it is in the manual, and every car is different. Okay. Uh, some of them you hold two different buttons down at one time, and it'll erase everything. Same way with navigation information that could be stored in your navigation system. There's a way to wipe that clean. Wipe your contacts out from your cell phone. If you've got it hooked up by Bluetooth, there is just, and let me tell you something, this problem is going to get worse. Yeah, it's just it's something better. you don't think about. Bingo. There you go. That's why I've been working on this one. It's up at carprousa.com. All right. Thanks, Jerry. Uh, Thank you, guys. Jerry Reynolds, you're, you're going to be here uh, 11 to 1 this Saturday on News Talk 95.1 FM, 790 AM KFYO. And we'll talk to you again next week. Okay, guys.
Take All right. care. Thanks. Bye. CarPro Jerry Reynolds. We'll be right back on News Talk 95.1 FM, 790 AM, KFYO.